Hello, I chose to do problem 18, and problem 18 asks, um, a solid sphere with radius 40 centimeters has a total positive charge of 2.6 times 10 to the negative fifth coulombs, uniformly distributed throughout its volume. Calculate the magnitude of the electric field at 0 centimeters, 10 centimeters, 40 centimeters, and 60 centimeters from the center of the sphere. The way I did this is I knew that um, the integral of the electric field, dA, is equal to the total charge of the sphere divided by the permittivity of free space. This is an equation given to us by Gauss's law, and the way I solved for it is I solved for the electric field um, for the first part of the question. So what I did was the integral of E dA is equal to the electric field integral dA, which is equal to the electric field um, of A, which is equal to the electric field, and then I plugged in the area of a sphere, which is 4 pi r squared, which again is equal to q over r squared, or not r squared, sorry, permittivity of free space, which makes the electric field equal to um, Q divided by 4 pi r squared times the permittivity of free space. This is if um, r is greater than the radius inside the sphere because we're assuming or we're setting the um, the charge equal to the total charge of the sphere. Meaning there could be, you know, if I'm making rings around the sphere. Um, I can't have any part of the sphere uh, not accounted for, so the big charge would have to be something out here. The Gaussian object around the sphere would have to be larger than the sphere that we were talking about. So this is if um, R is less than R. Big R is less than little r. Okay. So I'm just going to grab that and put that over here. Then wipe this out. Okay, and now the next part I solved for little r when it is less than big R. And the way I did this was pretty much the same thing, except for um, I'm taking the Gaussian object as if there's still part of the sphere left to go through. So the way I did that is I took like little chunks of Q since we don't have all the all the charge accounted for and the way I labeled this was the Q inside the Gaussian object which is going to be Q in. And from now on I'll just leave it little Q because it's easier to write out. So what is I took the same equation we um, used from one of the previous steps, which is E is equal to the Q in divided by the permittivity of free space, all multiple, um, still divided by, I guess, um, 4 pi r squared. And in order to further get this smaller, what I did is I knew that Q in, or the charge inside the Gaussian object, had to be equal to the density of the sphere um, times the volume inside the Gaussian object. And so here's the Q in is equal to rho, and then the volume inside the area that um, we're looking at is the area of a sphere which is four-thirds pi, and then since we're talking about the um, Gaussian objects as they're expanding, um, 
is really bad. Um, I take little r and cube it, which is again the equation of a sphere for the volume, and then continue on with that. Um, Q in is equal to um, how we get density is Q divided by 4 um, thirds uh, pi density. Sorry. Density will be the total charge of the sphere divided by the total volume of the sphere, which is big R cubed. So what I did is I plugged this Q in over here. So we have E is equal to rho four thirds pi r squared or cubed divided by four pi r squared times the permittivity or squared uh, times the permittivity of free space and then we well whatever we take out the r's so there's only one r on top pi's are gone four's are gone so what we end up with is rho r divided by three permittivity of free space and then we know that this is equal to um, 1 divided by 4, 4 pi ke, and we know what ke is, it's a constant. And we already know what rho is over here, so we just plug that in. And I'm not going to go through all the algebra because it's just a bunch of time, physics class. So Q, K, E, R divided by R cubed is how to calculate for the electric field when um, R is less than big R. So now, bring that over here. all this out and what we do now is just plug in the numbers so the radius is 40 centimeters so what we do is since we're looking for 0 centimeters the answer to A will be 0 because if we plug this right this equation right here in this R right here would be 0 and there's no charge at zero, so um, all the electric fields cancel out. For 10 centimeters, we use the equation down here. Um, sorry, for A, we should use the equation down here, too. Um, so now what we do is we just plug in the numbers, and we have Q, Q, KE, times 0.1 meters divided by 0 0.4 um, meters cubed and that is equal to um, 3.65 um, times 10 to the fifth Newtons per coulomb. And for C, we use the same equation down here, and we get Q, um, Q, K, E, um, times 0.4 meters divided by 0.4 meters cubed, and that'll equal 
4, 6 times 10 to the 6th newtons per coulomb. And for D, we use this equation up here. And we do Q divided by um, 4 4 pi um, r, r squared which is 0 0.6 meters squared is the permittivity of free space which is equal to 6.49 times 10 to the fifth newtons per coulomb. And there's all the answers.